idea, and I want to tell you about it, Jim. Uh, at Gridiron, we're going to have, uh, you pardon the expression, Kennedy and uh, Reagan and some boys from Vietnam. And against that background, it seems to me that uh, there's an opportunity <laughs> for you. I had an opportunity last year. I know. And I went, but I'm, I'm not a regular attendant. I got about seven of them. I know you have, but it's, 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 hear me out, please. Uh, uh, it's an opportunity to set the uh, great dignity of the presidency up against these two young upstarts. And there is one precedent for the president of the United States making his speech at Good Iron Public. This happened when Mr. Barker and Mr. Teddy Roosevelt had an argument in Good Iron. And uh, I thought that uh, I didn't see any reason why if you wanted to follow that precedent that you had a uh, story, or you had a big announcement, or you had a, a speech of uh, 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 that fit this occasion more serious than uh, humorous. That this might be a, uh, it'd be a dramatic, and I think an important thing to do. I thought it was so good an idea that I wanted to tell you about. It. Well, I I respect your judgment, and I like it, but I just don't think I ought to get into that. I, I, I went last year because of your judgment, and uh, I've got about seven or eight of them, and when I sign on one, I just murder myself, and I just don't believe that I ought to do it. I think if I, if I had to run for office, if I had to be reelected, if I had to do these things, that, uh, I might just come kiss her ass, but I just don't believe, <laughs> I don't believe in doing it when you don't have to, and, and if it didn't involve all the, the repercussions it does, the kickoff, because the photographers and everybody else comes in right after it, you can't do anything about it, and I turned them all down, and I went to all of them, I said, I'm going to go to every one of you, I'm going to give you my, my lung and my respect and my admiration, and I'm going to stay in and the whole evening and just endure it all and watch you with your jokes and your fun and I try to make out like it. I think you're good comedians, even though uh, I'd rather just be reading the Bible. Uh, and I've, I've gone through that about a couple of occasions, but I I just really honestly... Uh, well, I know how you frank. feel about it, but it seems to me at this juncture with, uh, with the uh, things that you've been up against that... Uh, that this might be a time just to turn on the full glare of the great dignity of your office in front of that crowd and make your speech public. Give them a, tell the press the reporters are never present, but uh, but uh, a copy of your speech is available for them if they want it. And, uh, I think it uh, I think it might be a dramatic thing. Well, so what? So what? What did you do? You you make speeches every day, but why why would this? Uh, in that, in that context is what I think is good. Before these immature young politicians from California and New York and that audience, and then to put it out to the public, it seems to me like a hell of a good idea. I, in fact, that's the, I, don't, I don't like to bother the President of the United States, but I thought it was so good I'd tell you. Well, I appreciate it. I'm grateful for your, your friendship, as you know. Talk to it, but uh, I, I don't really plan to go to any of these dinners this year. Any of them. I just plan to try to grind it out as best I can because I don't think you can. Uh, I think anything you do, they'll find fault with. And, yeah, that, uh, that's true. I, I think anything any president does, somebody finds fault with. But not somebody, but I, I think I think it, the cynics do, and they. It's not. Uh, I think you owe it. You, the, democ the democratic uh, uh, the idea requires you to do it on occasions, and uh, requires you to do it enough. Where uh, I, I made up my mind, I'm going to have at least two press conferences a month. I'm going to have one television for Sarah McClendon and the exhibition, <laughs> and I'm going to have at least one for in order that people can get information and yeah. look at the president, see his eyes and his health. And, 
and ask when they want to. Yeah. And maybe another one. I've had two uh, already in the last 10 days, and then I had one television. So I had three this month, but I'm going to do that. But I think these damn night dinners and eating this squab. Uh, uh, and you've got uh, you got you got a hundred you got a hundred uh, you got a hundred uh, associations and you got a hundred patriotic societies you got a hundred educators and you got a hundred newspaper people and I don't think it uh, does you a damn bit of good I never have found it does I well, just think that you go out and and uh, all you do is just sit there while they show the naked legs and act like they're funny and good dances and poor singing and a lot of uh, crap and then they 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 spend all their time uh, trying to be funny and uh, to me I don't think it uh, I think after you do it once or twice it's just kind of like uh, having a cup of coffee you don't uh, you don't do any good and uh, they they just uh, take a peculiar delight in raising hell I'd rather just be signing proclamations or doing something else or taking their jibes because they're going to give them to you anyway. Well, it just struck me that in this, uh, this context was so good, that, uh, so fitting a place to show... Uh, I just love you for thinking of me, and I appreciate it. And I told them, uh, I just knew that when uh, that dear old gridiron comes up, you always think of me about a week ahead of time, and I'm grateful for it. And you don't know how much I appreciate you, but I just... Uh, uh, I just think it might be misunderstood, and I... I I think I might get involved with a whole series of kickoffs. I think it's best for you all to just embrace Bobby and wrap him up and go on and live with him and have a good time and then take uh, take Reagan too. And um, all of them know me over there. And they know what I'm like, for good or bad, mostly for bad. Uh, oh, no, no, I wouldn't say that. No. How's the state of your health? I think pretty good. I think... Uh, I haven't seen you in a long time. Well, Anything I can do for you? Not a thing. Not a thing in the world. Uh, Lady Bird, all right. Couldn't be better. Yeah. She gets prettier than ever in the picture. <laughs> uh, Give her my love, will you? I sure will, Marshal. Okay.